Senator McFedrin. So to my colleague, Senator Martin, for ensuring that I had the space to speak today. It, it means a great deal to have that kind of consideration. I met Francis also through the Committee for 94 in Toronto in the 1980s, and ironically, while the goal of gender parity in politics by 1994 was clearly missed, it was 1994 when her leadership as Ontario's first openly feminist health minister led to massive changes in the regulatory environment for uh, regulated health professionals. In particular, a brand new code of protection for patients who were being sexually abused and assaulted by regulated health professions, professionals. I chaired the task force that led to those changes, and I can tell you that they absolutely would not have happened had it not been for the leadership by Francis, and that they remain a world standard that has been copied and adapted the world over. Senator Lankin, your decision to retire early is respected. It is what you need to do. However, we are losing a true doyen in parliamentary leadership who has excelled without abandoning her feminist principles and praxis. Maya Angelou observed, stepping onto a brand new path is difficult, but not more difficult than remaining in a situation which is not nurturing to the whole woman. The best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. That's Helen Keller. And this heart that I'm wearing comes from the Arctic Parliamentarians Conference. And although it's actually helping to hold up my, my outfit, it's going to leave with you today as something that was brought from Labrador and made by hand out of sealskin. And I hope it will remind you of how much you are held in our hearts here, whether you're in that chair or not. I close my speeches in this place in three languages. Thank you, merci, miigwech, which you also used today in your speech. But Senator McCollum explained to me the significance of the term chi miigwech, Yes, it means thank you, but it also conveys in that expression of gratitude a commitment to carrying benefits forward in how we give to others, which is what I say to you, Francis, in closing today. Chi Miigwech, you strong, marvelous woman. <laughs>